So let's start by accessing the free CV software and building your CV and building your brand immediately. And it's something that you can always update and adjust as you go along. So I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough. Let's go. Once you log into the new software, simply click create new resume, and then you have the option to start with an industry example, which is great if you're really starting from scratch. Upload an existing resume, which is perfect if you already have lots of information in your current resume, or import your LinkedIn profile. You can even start with a blank document if you prefer. For this, because I'm starting from scratch, I'm going to start with an industry example. Now, you can look for roles that are already outlined here in these boxes or on the left-hand side in categories, or you can simply type in the type of job that you currently have or you're going for and click on one of those pre-filled in fields. I'm going to click this one here, which is a senior HR leader. And you can see that the design and all the content is already loaded, which is great for giving me some examples and showing me what a professional CV looks like. On the left hand side, we have the opportunity to add different sections. And you can see there some of them have nice graphics. Other ones have slightly different layouts and additional skills and so on. So you can add different uh, sections there. I'm going to put in additional references. OK, and it just goes down there. Now, if you want to rearrange where these sections are, you can go into the rearrange area and you can si simply uh, drag and drop. So I could drag and drop wherever I want those references to be. Or if I want to move passions up or move achievements down, I can simply drag and drop that way. If you don't like the template and often I want to go with a simple minimalist style because that's what I like, I think it's easy to read. I might click on minimalist. Actually, I don't like all those designs there. I might go for the classic and I have a classic style there, which is one column all the way down and I'll click continue editing. And now that's updated and it's kept in all the existing content. You can change the design and font if you want a little bit more. But really, I think the only other couple of points you need to know here is that if you want to use the ATS, which is the applicant tracking system, uh, that sort of software is used to see if CVs are hitting the right points or not. So you can uh, use this to see if your CV is going to pass the ATS. And then the other thing you can do is use AI. So you can use the ChatGPT plugin to help you write and rewrite uh, the points. When you're ready, you can download the CV, download it as a PDF or send it to your email. And the one other thing you can do that I think is uh, really important to mention here is edit as you see. You simply have to click on the, the text wherever you want and start typing, okay? So in that case, it's really like Microsoft Word or Google Docs, whatever you use. It's just uh, click and type as you see and you can del delete things as you wish like that. When you're over here and you're um, working on a particular entry, you can uh, click on this to change the text. This changes the date. The calendar icon changes the date. And the gear icon allows you to uh, hide and view certain options. Like you maybe you want to remove the location or you want to add in a link and um, whatever suits you best. Or if you want to add them all in, you can do it that way. And it's as simple as that. So I hope that little CV run through it has been useful and please let me know in the comment if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.